from fat to fit. So round one will be consisting of rotating chest press and chest fly. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. All right, rotating press. Lie down flat on the ball or the floor if you don't have a ball. Hold the dumbbells at chest level with your palms facing the ceiling. Press the dumbbells up while rotating your wrists so that your palms are facing each other at the top of the movement. Slowly lower the dumbbells back down to the starting position. Remember, 12 reps. You've got this. Let's keep going. That's 11. Got one more rep to go. Number 12. All right. Now, the next move is your chest fly. You're going to want to lower your weight a little bit, as you see me doing in the video. Same position, though, on the ball or the floor or a bench, but this time, you're going to start with your elbows extended out to the sides, forming a T-shape with a slight bend in your elbows. Bring your dumbbells up in an arcing motion, squeezing your chest at the top. Lower the dumbbells back down with control. Remember, to keep your core engaged, maintain proper form, and breathe throughout the exercises. Alright, that's 10. Give me two more and then we can go to a water break. Great job guys. Way to finish set number one. Go ahead and get a quick break, quick drink, and on to set number two. Get your weights ready. Lay back, get flat, and get those weights going. 12 reps. Remember to really rotate at the top and really squeeze your chest muscles together as you're rotating. All right, give me two more. 11 and 12. Great job, guys. Let's go ahead and go into our flies. Remember, again, with your chest flies, you are going to drop the weight just a little bit to go to a lighter weight. And you want to keep your elbows, you don't want to lock them out, but you want to keep your elbows bent just a little bit and really squeezing at the top when you're coming up. Any chest exercise, really squeezing that chest at the top. finish strong give me two more let's go 11 one more let's go you got this great job guys that's the end of set number two all right last set best set go ahead and get yourself a little break ready to go back into rotating press so remember this is your last set so make it your best set elbows slightly below your shoulders pushing straight up putting your wrists together and really squeezing your chest at the top you've got this let's go guys all right give me two more that's 11 and 12. Great job, guys. Get set up for your fly. Now, 
Now is the time that you want to start listening to your body. How are you feeling? Do you need to drop the weights a little bit farther? If you do, that's okay. Your chest should be on fire. You should feel those muscles being activated. All right, let's get ready. Your last set of chest flat. Remember, no locking out the joints, elbows slightly bent, keeping that core tight as you go. Keep going, you've got this. I know you're feeling this, I know you're feeling these muscles. This is your last set on this round. Keep up the great work, guys. All right, two more reps, let's go. That's 11 and 12. Great job, guys, you guys are doing awesome. All right, let's get ready for round two. All right, guys, great job on round one. Let's look at round two. So while you take a little break, I'm also gonna give you a break out of your chest. So we're gonna go into biceps. Hammer curl and wide curl. So with the hammer curl, you're gonna stand tall with your dumbbells in each hand, palms facing your body, and curling the dumbbells upward towards your shoulders, keeping your elbows close to your sides and your palms facing each other throughout the entire movement. Squeeze your biceps to the top, and slowly lower the dumbbells back down. Then with the wide curl, maintain the same starting position as the hammer curl, but this time, rotate your palms outward so that they face forward and curl the dumbbells up, focusing on squeezing your biceps. Control the descent as you lower the dumbbells back down in both moves. Keep your core tight, maintain proper form, and breathe throughout the exercises. Again, 12 reps of each exercise three sets in this round. So grab your weights, get ready, and let's begin. Remember, keeping your elbows pinned to your side, weights only coming up to about your shoulders. If you're coming up so far that your elbows are moving forward, don't come that far. Just drop down a little bit. You've got this, guys. Keep working. Great job guys. You can either stick with the same weight or you can go a little bit lighter with this. But, let's go. With the wide curls again, your palms are facing out. You are in a W type movement. So continuing to work your bicep. Full range, all the way down with your arm and all the way back up, squeezing at the top. Elbows are still pinned to the side. Great job. I know you guys have earned this 30 second break, so stretch them out. Alright, this ain't no coffee break. Grab your weights. Let's go. Back into your hammer curl. Watch my form. Elbows pinned to your side. Straight up, straight back down. Really focusing on that descent of the weight when you're coming back down. Great job, shake it out, shake it out. And get ready for your wide curls. So again, elbows pinned to the side, in the W form, and all the way down, all the way back up. Let's go, wrap it out. Great job, shake it out, grab yourself a drink, take your 30 second break, really stretch out that bicep if you need to. How are you feeling? This is your third set of this round. So remember, if you need to drop some weight, drop some weight. If you felt this was too easy, then add some weight. 
Listen to your body and work. You have to put in the work. I can do this, I can show you the moves, but you have to put in the work. So grab your weights and let's get ready. Get back in your form. Focus on your form. Focus on keeping your core tight. Focus on your breathing. You've got this. So let's go. Hammer curls and go. feeling burning but keep going you got this last rep got it great job shake it out let's get ready for them wide curls and as you see me dropping some weight if you feel like you need to drop some weight drop it it's okay your arms weigh something too you're still putting in that work so let's get ready and get going Great job, give me two more, let's go. 12. Awesome job, guys. Way to go, way to end round number two. While you're getting yourself a drink and taking a little break, let's talk about round number three. Incline bench press, incline neutral press. So the bench press is something we've done before in the past. You wanna be at a 30 to 45 degree angle and just do your regular bench press. If you don't have a ball or a bench, again, don't worry about it. Just lay flat on the floor, do it that way. The other is a neutral press. You know what you're gonna do is press the weights together in the middle of your chest, straight up, straight back down. Really force in those weights together and really squeeze in those chest muscles. I also wanna point out every once in a while you'll see me writing stuff down. That's me just tracking my weight progression, making sure that I'm staying in the weights that I have been or getting stronger. All right, get on the ball, get on the bench, get on the floor, and get your presses going. Two more, let's go. Keep it up to good work, guys. All right, into our neutral press. Again, push the weight together in the middle of your chest and straight up and straight back down. Really try to force and squeeze those chest muscles together as you're pushing the weights together. All right, way to finish off set number one of round three. Take a little breather, and then we're gonna go right back at it. All right, get your weights and get ready. We're gonna go into set number two of round three. Remember, focus on maintaining your proper form and engaging your core throughout these entire exercises. All right, weights up and let's press. Remember, it's not about how heavy you're lifting, it's about the effort you're putting in. So just keep moving, keep working, and keep Right, give me one more great job guys all right if you need to switch up the weight for the neutral press recover a little bit as I switch my weights and let's go into this you've got this you need to go up go up weights you need to go down go down weight listen to your body 
make this workout work for you. Remember, really press those weights together, tighten your core, and push straight up, squeezing those chest muscles at the top. All right, give me two more. Let's go. Love the effort. Love the enthusiasm. You guys are doing great. You got one more set left, and then we will go back into biceps. Keep up the great work, guys. All right, this is your last set of chest. So I want everything you have in your chest right now. Leave it all on the table. Don't leave nothing in your chest. You should be able to barely pick these weights up after these workouts. Because after this, you are done with chest and we'll go back into biceps. Keep going. If you need to, put the weights down, lean back, stretch those chest muscles out, whatever you got to do to keep moving. But do not quit on me. Let's go. Neutral press. Push them together. Squeeze that chest. Lift them weights. Let's go. Great job, guys. We're going to go into round four now. So regular curls and rotating curl. So with our regular curls, just like before, palms facing forward, curling the dumbbells up towards your shoulders, and keeping your elbows pinned to your sides. Squeeze your bicep at the top and lower back down slowly. This really increases the resistance and really increases the muscle growth. All right, so with rotating curls, you're gonna curl up just like a regular curl, and then your wrists are gonna turn and come back down, and then back into a regular curl, and just continue repeating. Remember, 12 reps, keep your core tight, focus on proper form. You've got this, let's go. Now, with weight selection, your muscles might be fatigued, you might be able to curl more than what you're going to right now, and that's okay. Find a weight that you can keep going with, that you can keep moving with, that isn't too light, but also you don't feel like you're struggling to maintain your form. I don't want to see any swaying either. Keep yourself perfectly in line, keeping that core tight, not leaning back, if you need to, kickstand by putting one foot behind you. All right, if you got to, shake it out a little bit. Let's go into our rotating curls. So again, dumbbells come straight up, rotate, back down. Rotate back, back up, and back down. You've got this. Keep working, guys. Job. I know your biceps are burdened. They are shot. But you've got two more sets, and I want you to give me everything that you've got. Keep working, guys. Breaks over. Let's go. Back into your regular curls. Keep 
Keep moving. I know you're feeling this in your biceps. Shake them out. Sit the weights down. Stretch out your biceps. Do what you've got to do, but don't give up. Let's go into our rotating curls. Come on. See me start to lose form there? See what I'm doing? Drop the weight. If you've got to, to maintain proper form, drop your weight and keep going. Great job guys, you've got one more set and you are done, completed, finished. So I want you to give me, just like we did with chest, give me everything you've got left in your arms. Let me see your flex it picture in the comments. Come on guys, we are almost done. All right, grab your weights, back into our regular curls. Let's go. I want everything that you've got left in your arms, but I want it with proper form. So keep working. All right, shake it out. Rotating curls. Everything you got left. This is your last weighted exercise for the day we are done after this so let's go curl them weights up rotate and back down you've got it keep going Amazing job. You've completed all four rounds of the super sets. Thank you for joining me today on From Fat to Fit. I hope you were challenged during this exercise. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more fitness videos. Stay motivated and I'll see you next time. God bless y'all.